the first time ever, it's an all-English final across both Champions League and Europa League, while Liverpool and Tottenham fans are planning their trip to Madrid. Chelsea and Arsenal supporters have much further to go and much sooner. I'm joined now by travel journalist Jill Starley Granger. So what are some of the logistical headaches that fans are facing here? When people have looked for flights um, to Madrid right now, they're finding that they're costing more than a thousand pounds. And to get to Baku, there aren't even any direct flights around the time of the match. There's a Saturday to Saturday flight, but that costs about fifteen hundred pounds. And even after the the cost, it, it takes quite some time to get to Azerbaijan. I, I should imagine. Yes, if you get the direct flight, it's not too bad. But most people are not going to want to stay a week in Azerbaijan, and they also aren't going to want to pay fifteen hundred pounds for the privilege of doing so. So the flights are likely to entail layovers, and that's going to take you at least probably twelve hours with the layover. The cheapest flights, though, will have three layovers, and they they will take you about 24 hours. And what are some of the things that maybe fans haven't thought of? Um, I'm guessing the, the Liverpool and Tottenham fans going to Madrid is one thing, but yes. I'm guessing there's a visa involved, is there, for, for Baku? Yes, you definitely have to have a visa for Baku, but the good news is that it's very fast and simple to do online. However, you need to go to the gov.uk website and look for the link there because there's a specific official website and it's it's not too expensive. I think it's about 20 pounds. And when you go through to fill out the form, make sure that you put that the purpose of your visit is the Europa League final and that should help expedite it. However, they do still advise that you apply for your visa by 20th of May and don't fall for any of the scam websites. There are a lot of websites that will offer to fill in the form for you um, and charge you 100 to 200 pounds for the privilege, but it's a very simple form. So do it yourself and you'll save a lot of money. Plus, you'll be sure you're getting an actual visa and not just paying a scammer some money. And finally, what what tips have you got for these for these football fans listening? I think if you want to go to Baku, that there aren't really that many tips. The only tip I could give is that you could potentially travel to Tbilisi in Georgia and take a train, but it's an 18-hour train o- overnight train trip. So that could save you a little bit of money. For Spain, it's a lot simpler. There are loads of flights all over Spain. So fly to Zaragoza, fly to Valencia. They're both a 90-minute train ride from Madrid and uh, you should get a much better deal and you'll also find cheaper accommodation in those cities. Thank you, Jill. And you can see more advice getting to the games on skynews.com or on the Sky News app.